Hey nice landers, today we're gonna build a cursed enderman farm that gets us to level 30 in just 80 seconds. And the best part is we don't even need one of those stupid annoying endermites. How are we gonna do this you may ask? Well stick around to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the hashtag not in SMP server. That's right, it's a server. But it's not an SMP, and no, you can't join. But you can join Ascension SMP, which just started for its second season. And uh, for more information on that, just join my Discord. But anyway, there are so many things popping up here that ET and Tater have been building. Check this out. We've got a giant TNT and a, a creeper head over here. We've got a giant skeleton, which uh, on a live stream, we built an iron farm on top of the skeleton's hat. Let me go show you inside. So if we enter the brains of the skeleton, you can hear the the horrible sound of golems dying and check this out. It just, it will not stop producing iron. Look at all this iron. So anyway, we have a problem here on the server because as awesome as this is, and down below we have, we have a skelly grinder right here that ET put together and it has been a lifesaver because obviously we can you know enchant all of our little goodies uh, but you know what standing here for hours and hours waiting for a skeleton to drop in where's the skeleton you are you gonna come or are you gonna let me look stupid hello skeleton you see this is the problem uh, we, we stand here for hours waiting for skeletons to come and then they come slowly uh, but no we need a better way to get some XP and that's where I come in I'm going to make a enderman farm but in order to do that we have to actually find the end um so whoa 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 okay that was a bubble elevator and now we're at the top and i'm going back down okay all right now we are out of the uh bowels of the skeleton that was a very weird thing to say but i mean technically that's what it was uh but yeah we're going to make a enderman farm and uh this thing is really cool if you haven't seen it yet uh, I, I made this thing not too long ago, and it does not require any endermites, uh, which makes it super cool, and all you do is look at endermen, and you can get to level 30 in 80 seconds. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we have in our mule, it is not a donkey, it is a mule, I, I'm going to fight to the death for that, uh, but I have all the stuff that we need for the farm today. Uh, so, the next thing we have to do is find the fortress, and so... Me, E.T., and Tater are going to live stream right now, and we're going to try to find the... Did I say fortress? I meant the, the stronghold. <laughs> so, as fun as that would have been, my stream didn't work, so it's time for voiceover montage time. So, two hobbits and an elf set sail across open waters with their donkeys and their mules in tow, and they searched for the stronghold. And of course, in typical Minecraft tradition, we took a selfie before we entered the portal. Cheese! And thanks to my amazing bow skills, we defeated the dragon. Well, I mean, I guess Tater and E.T. kinda helped. Then I decided to take a leap of faith and go find an elytra. So I was the first one to find a ship and I got the elytra, but then E.T. and Tater decided it would be a good idea for me to get them one. So I took my sweet time and I looted all the in cities that I could find. Of course they had to wait on me. Then after many hours of hard work I returned and gave them their elytra and they were gonna let me die by an enderman. Such good friends. So then we all set out to do some in busting together. We had a great time and got a bunch of loot. Man, that was so much fun hanging out with Tater and E.T. in that live stream and going in busting. Uh, you know, I like in busting all by myself, but it was even better having friends. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, but okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here and we're going to make an Interman farm, which I've got my donkey up there and he's got all of the stuff that we need in his saddlebag. So we got to go up there and get him. And I was also thinking, you know what, before we end today's video, after we do this farm, I want to decorate this room because it looks it looks it looks pretty bad, right? <laughs> and uh, also put it in uh, in in portal. No, a nether portal in here so we can get here a lot faster next time. Uh, but check out all of these shulker boxes that I got from from the from the in busting. I'm gonna take a couple of these with me and go get this stuff from our donkey. Okay, I just called this thing a donkey. It is not a donkey. It's it's see even ET. He's starting to get me to call this thing a donkey. It's it's a mule. 
Okay, now we've got all of our stuff in our shulker box. We gotta find our way back in there, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to build this. It's gonna be somewhat of a kind of a tutorial for you. So I hope you like that. I kind of want to start doing this on every video, kind of giving you guys something that you can learn or something that I can give back to you rather uh, for watching my videos. So I hope that's okay. I hope you like it. Okay, so let me get on top of one of these pillars, and we can kind of get a better look of the area because what we have to do is we need to find like the farthest point away from the in city or from the in city the uh, the the island here which it looks like it's probably this right here so we're gonna fly down and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a way down to the very bottom of the world using some water and some lava and you're gonna place your lava right on the very edge of the island as you can see there are no more blocks going down there so once your lava flows all the way down to the bottom you're gonna take your water and we're going to put it right here and see that's going to turn everything in to uh to cobblestone that way we have a way to build down there and then we can go ahead and pick this up because we don't need that anymore all right now we're going to get some leaves and we want three stacks and i'm going to show you why exactly because 64 plus 64 is 127 and uh, if we build all the way out from the bottom of this pillar out 127 blocks then uh, nothing will be spawning on this island and everything will be spawning in our farm. So we want to jump in the water and this part is actually kind of scary. Uh, and we're going to go down to the very bottom of the world. And you don't want to go out the bottom because you, you will die. Uh, so we're going to put that there. Okay, so now that we're 128 blocks away from this cobblestone pillar, what we're going to do is from this last leaf block, we're going to come out three on each side. And then I think we're going to come out another three. And of course, we're going to fill all this in. Okay, so I'm fast forwarding just a couple of minutes here. And I've got a little cobblestone hut with a, a platform here. I got some hoppers. There's three hoppers under this carpet. And they're going to lead into a chest, which will be here uh, in just a minute. Uh, but what we're going to do now is from this block right here, which is where we're going to stand, we need to go out with leaves. We need to go out 23 blocks. So if we count one, two, or see, one, two, three, four... We need to go out another 19 blocks from right here and then we can build our spawning platforms out there where our endermen are going to spawn and then we can look at them they can get angry at us and uh then we can we can we can we can uh well we can end their existence you know for for xp because i'm nice okay so we have a little platform here it's not that big it's only six by seven uh and i'm also going to add some leaves around the sides of it just like this and this will hopefully prevent Endermen from spawning here and falling off the edge. Or sometimes Endermen spawn and then they, you know, will push their friends off of the edge. Which is not very nice, but, uh, I mean, that's what they do. Okay, so we have our spawning platform over there and we lit it up so that way we don't get Endermen spawning there. Uh, they might ruin your day if you don't do that. Uh, and also, when you build this part, you're going to want to put a torch here too. Uh, so now what we're going to do is build some staircases up to the top here. And we're just going to take some leaves. And this part's pretty easy. Just go like that, and then we're going to put stairs on top of these leaves, just like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our walls and put them right here. And we're going to leave a space for the Endermen to get in here, uh, but we're going to block it off just like this. So now we can take some carpets and we can just lay it on here like this, and we're going to double them up because Endermen, they cannot spawn on or teleport to carpets that are doubled up like this. And believe it or not, we are done. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down in here. Let's see, can I get back? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to take these torches out and they're going to start spawning as soon as we go back to our little hut over there. And let's see how good this thing works. Okay, we are back in. Let's see. Oh, wow, we have a bunch of them already. Okay, let's see if we can get to level 30 in like 80 seconds here. Oh, it's so loud. I should have turned the sounds down. Okay, so getting to level 30 actually took a lot longer than I thought it would because I don't have a maxed out sword. I only got sharpness 4, so that'll probably make a big difference. But let's see, if we hold our mending pickaxe, then we try this again. I'm wondering how quick we can mend our, our broken tools. Uh, and I forgot to turn the sounds down again. Okay, so that literally took probably about 15 seconds to mend my pickaxe. So that is wonderful because, you know... We, previously, we had to wait down at the Skelly Farm, and, you know, it would take about 15 minutes instead of, you know, about 
30 seconds. So this is wonderful. <laughs> Look at all those angry Endermen behind me. Oh boy. So last episode I mentioned that I want to start making my farms look a lot better. I want to start decorating them, right? Something I don't normally do, uh, but I want to get better at. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit a time lapse and we're going to make a giant angry Enderman farm right here above this little ugly cobblestone hut. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> yes, very nice. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I still kind of have to do. As you can see, I've added, uh, you know, we've got over here, we have some anvils, and I put some of these dripstone here, so that way the Enderman won't be teleporting to these blocks. And up over here, I've got a, I've got an enchanting table, I've got a barrel, crafting table, and then I've got a, uh, you know, a disenchanting, uh, what is that called? A, a grindstone, that's what it is. And so then down here is where we go to, you know, look at all the Endermen and oh, it's going to get loud again. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. Okay, cool. So let's check because I'm going to get in free cam. I want to check to see if we've got any Endermen. Okay, we have one right here. So this is the problem. Um, right here we have a double layer carpets, right? The Endermen won't be able to spawn there or teleport to there. But they can to they can teleport up here, which is, you know, not ideal. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I've got a bunch of leaves. Nope, not in that one. I've got it in here. And I've got some water. Now, Endermen can't teleport to uh, blocks that are waterlogged. And we can waterlog leaves and then maybe cover them up with carpets. Uh, so let me test this out. I'll, I'll just do a couple of them for right now. Just in case it doesn't work. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, I'm going to need an infinite water source. Okay, infinite water source done, and now let's see, and it's not going to come out the bottom, right? Let's check. Okay, cool. Great. So now if we just fill that up, and we replace all of these with these uh, waterlogged grass blocks, the Enderman shouldn't be able to teleport. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about these bone blocks, though, but we'll, we'll figure this out part. We'll, bleh, we will figure that part out later. Words are so hard. All right, cool. That should keep some of them from teleporting, at least to the top of this guy's head. And uh, I'm kind of... Whoa. Oh, I'm, I'm in between the carpets. Hello. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys know of any other ways to keep Endermen from teleporting to certain blocks. I don't know if string will work or if buttons will work. I, I kind of don't think they do. I know they can't teleport to waterlogged blocks. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you guys know of any tips or tricks... Uh, of a good way that I can, oh my gosh, that looks so cool, uh, but of a good way that I can, uh, you know, uh, teleport or keep these guys from teleporting over here to these blocks. And of course, they can't teleport to these blocks because it's actually uh, two and it's not quite three blocks tall, so they can't even fit in here. I guess theoretically they could, they could teleport to that block right there because they have room to, you know, stand up in there uh, but I'm not too worried about that if one does I can just kill him whenever I come out of here so if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial on how you can build my Enderman farm then uh, go ahead and check out these videos right here next to my head and I will see you all later don't forget to take care and be nice